up guys, Jones fishing out here, out in the middle of Utah. It's uh, pretty nice out here actually. A lot of snow up there, it's a little chilly, uh, but the water's super high right now. We've been trying to fish uh, some creeks, but they're all blown out and we all suck at fishing. So we're up here at the reservoir, hopefully gonna catch a tiger muskie. Probably not, but uh, you at least get to watch our retarded friend, uh, Joey with the D, kind of like Django. I uh, use a Barbie rod to hopefully catch the fish, but we'll see. Let's go! <laughs> I'm gonna cast horizontal with the short. I'm actually gonna come out of the point. It's a good thing when you have waders. This is definitely not the most ideal setup. I actually even have a bait caster, but we're supposed to only fish trout today, so. Oh, my hand was bent, that's why. Didn't have to reel too fast with the way that how choppy the water is. I don't know if this is, I mean, this spinner bait should, should work. A dude, uh, Jimmy over there is using a uh, swim bait. And he said he saw a tiger in this case. Let me see. Oh, got one. That's a bass. Got one? Yeah, that's a nice bass. Oh my God, it's a smallie, dude. Oh my God. That's a huge smallmouth, dude. All right, come here, buddy. Dude, that's my biggest ever smallmouth, for sure. There you go. There you go. I need to weigh this, dude. I need to get my scale. Holy shnikes. That's a good three pounder, dude. That might be four. My drag was being retarded. <laughs> yeah, that guy, dude. Jones fishing. Good one. <laughs> hey, come over. We'll get the weight. Just got this scale the other day. <laughs> I don't know how accurate the scale is, but zeroed out. Okay. Yep. Three, two. I was thinking maybe four. I was off. That's awesome, dude. Let's get a good still. He hit it right at my feet. All right, let's go, Bertha. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, but I realized that I honestly didn't get the best footage that I should have. I was actually super focused on trying to get a fish. We only ended up getting a few fish uh, the whole week, or two weeks, week and a half that we were there fishing. It was just super tough conditions. Um, I thought we'd be fine considering everything was tailwaters. I was hoping to get into some really good trout but all the rivers were blown out because they had a lot of rain and they were also making space for the runoff from the snow 
Uh, so the, they really were opening up the dams. They were, they were flowing hard. But I mean, it was a good time. Like I missed a few carp and uh, which you'll see later on in the video. Um, and I mean, I caught that uh, small this the biggest one I've ever caught. Fortunately, it was on the fly, but didn't really have a fly rod that I could have tossed in those windy conditions. That was another thing. It was really windy uh, most of those days that we were fishing. Uh, that first day, uh, which you just watched, um, wasn't super bad. It was fishable. And then we come back the next day and it's super windy. But just to let you guys know, the next little bit of footage um there's not really too much context but basically uh our buddy jimmy that we were fishing with catches some fish um you'll see those but uh yeah and i don't really talk about it so you don't really get to hear any uh commentary but they were good fish and we'll just get back to the video and uh thanks for watching yeah should just be on that little guy i didn't even realize he had that <laughs> Flyers? Alright, I'll go get the scale. Yeah, one. One? Yeah. One point one, yeah. Yeah, not bad. Should be alright. At least got some. Yeah. Seems like white spinner bait might be the key yeah. right now. Too bad I broke mine off. <laughs> one way or another, right? Yep. There you go. I think he had a pebble in his mouth. <laughs> so I think he had a pebble in his mouth when he picked it up. I think he was just going with it. Oh yeah. Oh shit. That was actually almost two pounds. Yeah, I didn't realize. 110. That's a good smallie. That's a really good smallie. Hell yeah, all right. Alright guys, well this is going to be retarded, but we only have one other decent sized rod and we kind of gave up on the barbie rod. <laughs> so I love my, uh, my buddy Joey with a D, he's my other rod. And so I'm chasing bass and possibly tiger muskie with 2x tippet and a 5 weight rod. Uh, definitely not. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, he dropped it. It was a carp, dude. I had a huge, huge carp on. What's up, dudes? Hey guys, Out welcome to Jones dude. Fishing with your host Jones from Jones Fishing. I guess uh, that's our intro for the day. Hey. But uh, day two, gonna see what happens. Didn't catch a whole lot of fish yesterday. Probably won't catch any t uh, fish today because we fucking suck. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned. For Jones Fishing and the Dirty Trout Boys. Dirty Trout Boys! <laughs> well, <laughs> we're near the boat dock and it appears that someone let their freaking boat drift. <laughs> Comes over here, I'm getting in it. Because I could use a boat right now. Huh. Well, that really sucks. No, I just heard someone yell, yell the F word, Daryl. They realized they f messed up. That'd be dope, but nah. <laughs> that sucks. Bye, boat. That's what happens when it's windy and you don't tie your boats down, dude. I don't even know a boat and I know that. Yeah, Jones, bro. fish! I just got me a fish, bro! That's a largey, bro. Oh, let me hold him so you can take a picture of me with him. Dude. I, oh, wasn't, I wasn't filming, I wish I was. Sweet tits, bro. Here. Yo, that's like your first fish ever because you're a city boy. <laughs> Jones fishing, bro. This is Jones, Jones fishing. fishing at its finest. 
the dirty bass boys now. The dirty All bass right. boys the dirty and Jones bass boys. Let's get an underwater release of this guy. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell uh, at the bottom near the subscribe button, so that way you uh, get notified whenever I upload another video. Not too often, I'm a little spaced between videos just because of real life. But yeah, thanks for watching, I'll catch you on the next one.